Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Tuesday, May the 8th. It's the sixth week of Easter and week five in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 78, verse 56 to 72, and 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 through 6. Now join me in singing verse 6 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. O oh, bless our God and never cease, O oh, saints fulfill God's praise, who keeps our life, maintains our peace, and guides our doubtful ways. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, they taste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia! Yet they tempted and provoked you, but did not keep your commandments. Alleluia! Psalm 78. And please recite it with me. Alleluia! Yet they tempted and provoked you, and did not keep your commandments, but turned back and dealt unfaithfully like their forebears. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow. And they angered you with their mountain shrines, and made you jealous with their graven images. When you heard this, you were furious, and greatly abhorred Israel. And so you forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent where you lived among your people, and delivered your ark into captivity, your glorious ark, into the enemy's hands. And you gave your people over to the sword, furious with your inheritance. The fire consumed their young men, and there were no weddings for their maidens. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. And then you awoke as one out of a deep sleep, like a mighty warrior overcome by wine. You struck the enemy from behind, and put them to perpetual shame. You rejected the tabernacle of Joseph, and chose not the tribe of Ephraim. But you chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which you loved, and you built your sanctuary like the heavens, like the earth which you established forever. You chose David, your servant, and you took him from the sheepfolds, from following the sheep great with young, and you brought him to shepherd the people of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and Israel, your inheritance. And so David fed them according to the integrity of his heart, and guided them by the skill of his hands. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, yet they tempted and provoked you, and did not keep your commandments. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's first letter to Timothy, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for everyone, for kings and all who are in high positions, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all good godliness and dignity. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God our Savior who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God 
There is also one mediator between God and humankind, Christ Jesus, himself human, who gave himself as a ransom for all. This was attested at the right time. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Abide with us, beloved God, and do not abandon us to evil. Have compassion on your church, and forgive us our trespasses. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.